Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca Rice and I teach family photographers to gain a life of freedom through a thriving photography business. In this video, I'm going to share my screen and walk you through exactly what it looks like to edit a photo session using Imagine AI, a very powerful editing software in minutes. It is incredible. And I'm so excited to show you the ins and outs of what this looks like. Now, if you're new to Imagine AI, maybe you've never heard of them before, or maybe you have, but just aren't as familiar with like what what is Imagine AI? What do they do? Go watch my previous video because in there I walk you through what it what it is, why we started using it, and how it has really transformed my business and how I really believe that it'll transform yours. So um, if you're here, just a reminder, you can try Imagine AI for free. You can get 1500 edits for free using the link in the description. So definitely go check that out. I want to make sure that you don't miss that, especially if you're newer to Imagine AI. So here we are. Um, this is the family session that I want to show you today. This is the Sweet Case family. They are amazing. Um, this session was edited entirely with Imagine AI. And so I'm really excited. This is the one that I'm going to um, show you step by step how we got it done. And it happens so fast. Like it's so powerful. Um, I'm just giving you a scroll through so you can see um, the final gallery here, how it turned out. Um, they are so sweet with their twin one-year-olds. Um, so this gallery was really, really beautiful. So I'm going to take you over to Lightroom first and foremost. So you can see here, um, one of the beautiful things about Imagine AI is that it edits using Lightroom catalogs. So you don't need this extra editing software. Um, we use Imagine, it's almost like, I don't want to call it a plugin, but it's like a it, it's like a helper to Lightroom. And so um, you can see here, I have the gallery already imported. These are just straight out of camera, haven't touched them, haven't edited them. Um, give you a nice little scroll through. They look good straight out of camera. It's not quite like what, obviously I wouldn't deliver this, but um, you can scroll through. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over to um, Imagine AI. Okay, so here we are inside Imagine, and you can see right here where it says AI profiles, I have my profile already imported, ready to use. Now, in case you didn't see the last video, you can actually purchase my custom AI editing profile to use for your own sessions if you want. Um, this is not a preset. This is actually way more powerful than a preset. Um, so basically what this AI profile does is it is it has learned how I edit every single individual photo. So yes, when I edit by hand, I start out with a um, base edit preset, but then I, you know, with every preset, you have to go in and make tweaks. And so um, when I edit using a preset, I do that, apply my preset, make my tweaks, all the things. What this AI editing profile does is it actually has learned the individual tweaks that I make to every single photo, depending on the settings. I mean, it's so smart. It's scary. And it edits my images an image a second, exactly like I would. So it doesn't just slap a preset on. It is actually individually editing every single setting that's needed for each photo, depending on what the settings look like. It's wild, you guys. And so this um, AI editing profile is available to purchase. You can find that link um, in the description of this video. Also, it's on sale for you guys. So I wanna make sure that you grab that um, if you would like. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into projects. And we're gonna go ahead and create a new project. Um, Imagine AI does have culling. You're free to try it out. I don't love AI culling. I've tried Imagine, I've tried lots of other <laughs> softwares as well. And I just, I think that culling is one of those things that, it, you know, you just have to kind of do it yourself. Um, so I don't love the cull, but if you want to, you can. Um, so I'm gonna click here and click edit. Um, and then this is like what type of photos are in here. This is a family session. And then I'm gonna go here and select my Lightroom catalog. So I'm going to select, let me 
um my I think because I'm editing this one um let me x out okay uh I'll drag and drop <laughs> so here it is I have it as a test catalog so I'm gonna drag it over here oh it's currently being used <laughs> <laughs> hold on let me get this set you gotta love technology right i there we go oh i bet it's right here okay let's try this again so i'm gonna drag and drop my catalog there so here it is inside um imagine ai so I, first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna name my project so i'm gonna call this pace family or I'm going to say test so that my team doesn't get confused because we've already edited this. Um, but these are unedited images. Okay. So choose my AI profile. I want to use my light and airy. I am going to choose to straighten. Um, I, I like to go ahead and crop myself um, just because that's so, you know, subjective to the photographer, but I do like to have them straighten it. Um, and then I'm going to select this so that it's showing how many photos are selected. 111, I guess. One. Oh, weird. I have one that's a JPEG format. But anyways, so it shows 111 images selected. And look right here, guys. The estimated cost is only $6.66. It's wild. So the reason is because um, the base edit to run a photo through Imagine AI is five cents an image, which is so wildly cheap. If you were to use like a private editor, um, it would cost you on average like 34 cents an image. And so five cents an image is ridiculous. And this is like a very normal size gallery for me for a family session. Um, and then it adds a cent for straightening. So it's an extra cent to straighten, an extra cent to crop. Um, so for me, it's six cents an image right here. So it's nice that it gives you that like little estimated cost. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click upload. And my project is uploading. So it happens really fast. Let me see what time it is. 10, 16 a.m. Okay. Um, we're going to, I, I'm going to show you guys how crazy fast this is. Um, so now it is it's uploaded our project right here and you can see how fast it's editing these photos like what in the actual heck it's crazy um it edits it says uh, uh it edits an image a second i think it's faster than that i mean look at it go so you can see in real time how fast it's editing these photos and as a reminder it's not just slapping a preset on these photos it is going in and fine tuning specific settings so no two photos are going to be edited the, the exact same way um, unless the lighting was like exactly the same but um what it's doing is it's literally going in and fine tuning depending on that image. And so let's say I had a photo that I totally botched the white balance. It's fixing the white balance to make it perfect for my style, which a preset does not do. You guys look done. What? And so you can see it's done editing uh, or it's done. Oh, I guess it was upload. Well, yeah, editing. So now it's getting the high res images done. So this is the one that's closer to um one, you know, one one image a second, but it's I mean it's going so so fast. So I like to watch the progress on it. And as you can see, and it's great because you can work in Lightroom on other catalogs or whatever while this is running. So you can have Imagine AI running in the background and I highly suggest having a different catalog for each like full family session. If you're doing a set of minis, you can put those all in one catalog, but I don't suggest having one massive catalog with every single session that you've ever done. Like that is a great way to slow down your Lightroom. Um, so I do have a video walking through how to set up your organization like this. Um, like my, my post-processing workflow, what it looks like on my channel. So you can go find that. But, um, if you have one, um, one session per catalog, you can work in other sessions and get, you know, get them prepped or go and make final tweaks or whatnot while Imagine is editing in the background. So right here, it says that this only has one minute left to edit an entire family session with 111 photos. This is what's most crazy to me, I think, about 
this whole concept of AI editing is that it really is a massive time saver that I'm not going to, you know, if I were to edit 111 photos myself and I'm a fast editor, it would take me minimum, I mean, at least 30 minutes, if not closer to an hour. And that's, I've had years and years of practice editing fast. I'd say closer to an hour to edit a hundred images. Um, and, and that's if I shot them really well and didn't botch anything, which every once in a while, you know, we just botch some things. Um, so the, the fact that this is editing so fast, like it's going to save hours and hours for those of you that are still editing all of your photos by hand. Okay, check it out. It is complete. Now I'm going to click right here, download to review. And I'm gonna click download edits and that's fine. It's just saying it's going to overwrite whatever was edited in there. Now I click here, open Lightroom catalog. So I'm going to expand this here. It opens the catalog and watch this, you guys. You can see it popping in the edits in real time and boom, we have fully edited. Look at it. I mean, it's like magic. Watch. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so we're going to go in and just like any, you know, whether you were using presets or whatever, you're still going to have to go in and potentially make final tweaks. Um, but this gets it just about there. And so to give you a little like before and after here, you can see the difference of what my edit does, which is um, made. Oh, here. Look, it's editing like my greens are how I would edit my greens. It's nice and light and oh, I love everything about it. And so what you could do is I could go in um, like and I would typically my workflow is after I get it back from Imagine, I'm going to just touch every photo to make sure it's exactly how I want. And so, for example, this one, I would want it cropped in just a little bit. Um, these look fine. And I just go through, oh my gosh, so cute. And I touch every individual photo just to make sure, like this one, I might raise the exposure a little bit. Uh, this one too. So it gets it really close. And typically the only thing I need to adjust literally is exposure because it gets the white balance and my crop, but it gets my white balance perfect. It gets like Oh, just, it does such a great job. And all I'm doing is I'm scrolling through really quickly and I'm touching every photo just a bit. Um, so that's one thing that whenever people think about AI editing, um, one of the pushbacks that I hear is that it's like cheating because there's no human touch to it. But that's not true. There's still a bit of human touch to it because you're going in and you're making those final tweaks as needed. What it's doing is it's getting you 90, you know, 90 percent of the way there uh, rather than if you were using presets, the preset might get you 50 percent of the way there. So it's massively speeding up your workflow so that you can have a almost finished gallery and then go through and just make, you know, little final tweaks. But I mean, look at this, guys. It's this is not a preset. It is individually editing every single photo. And like, these are different in every photo, depending on where, you know, where it's shot or what it looks like. It's like, let's go here. Look, they're all, and this goes for all the settings. It's wild how like specific it gets for each individual photo. So like I said, it's so close um, that I'm making very minor adjustments, if any. Some photos are perfect and I don't have to touch them. Um, so all that to say, it does give a human, you're, you're still going to have to touch the images just to make sure that it's exactly as you want, um, but it speeds up the workflow like crazy because this gallery is almost perfect. Um, I have to make some small tweaks, but it's very, very, very fast <laughs> compared to if I were to go through and edit these by hand. And so um, the other really cool part, I'm going to go back to Imagine, is once you go through and, um, you know, make your final tweaks and, you know, get your photos exported, you can actually upload the final edits back into 
um, Imagine AI, and it's going to learn what tweaks you made. And it's just going to make that profile even more custom to you. And so it, for me, if it notices that I'm actually brightening up these photos um, a tiny bit or whatnot, um, because that's what I'm doing, I'm going in and essentially like, you know, I'm brightening a bit. Um, so what Imagine AI does is if if I were to upload these final edits to um, back into Imagine, it learns how I edited it. And it, the more that you edit with it, the smarter that it gets. And so if you're planning on using my custom um, AI editing profile, then the beautiful part is um, that, you know, maybe your style is just slightly different than mine, then as you edit, it, Imagine AI is learning that and it's going to adjust that profile to fit you. It's like finding the perfect fit. And so this is, I, I am just such a huge believer in, um, you know, Imagine AI and the power behind it. Like I'll go through and adjust that crop. And so let me take you back to our final gallery here. You guys, this is so incredibly powerful. And I mean, look at the results. The results are beautiful. And this gallery was, you know, ready to edit within minutes. I mean, you can see it. We've been doing this video for 16 minutes total. And that's with me talking over it and doing all the things. And it's, I mean, it's done. It's so simple. So if you, if this doesn't make you a believer, I don't know what will. Um, so I give it a try is all that I can say um, that if if you're, you know, the skeptical and not quite sure if it would work for you or whatever, the worst thing you can do is try. Wait, that sounded weird. The, the best thing you can do is try. The worst that could happen is you just keep doing what you're already doing. The best thing that could happen is that this could save you hours and hours and hours of your post-processing workflow so that you can spend more time doing things that you know, matter most to you instead of being glued behind your computer. And so as a reminder, you can try Imagine AI completely for free. You get 1500 free edits, which is a ton of free edits, um, using the link that's in the description below. And if you want to check out my custom AI editing profile, here it is. Um, here, I, it's on sale. So it's 50% off for you guys to go grab if you want. Um, I'm telling you, it can be a game changer for you. Um, and what's beautiful is that, like I said, you're able to kind of fine tune and have it learn for you. And it just gets even more custom to you and your editing style. So if you have any questions about Imagine AI about um, how it works or how to go in and edit or, or my custom editing profile um, that you can get, you know, purchase and use in your own Imagine AI. Comment below and I would love to come through and answer those questions and just help however I can. I truly believe that this could be a game changer for you and your business and just the time, the, the freedom that you're going to be able to experience by not being glued behind your computer. And it's so cost effective, you guys. Like literally that cost me $6 to get a full gallery edited for, for you know, this to be delivered. So I'm telling you, it's worth every penny. Highly suggest. Um, so let me know if you have any questions at all. And I would love to help you. With that, we'll go ahead and um, sign off. And I'll see you back next week with another video. Bye, guys.